there's a lot of mistakes that we make today that can thicken up that bile so that it doesn't flow correctly. And if bile is not flowing correctly, that means it's just kind of sitting there in the gallbladder. Now remember that the gallbladder is meant to concentrate that bile so that it can make that bile more effective. But it doesn't have like an off switch for the concentration, you know, thing that it's doing. So if bile isn't moving correctly because we made mistakes that caused it to be too thick and sticky to flow properly, it continues to concentrate to the point where it will create stones. And that's a way that we can create gallstones. Let's say, for instance, that you have already formed some stones because your bile is not moving correctly and uh, you kind of concentrated too much bile and it turned into stones. So you may have some stones there. If that's the case, the best way to start breaking those down is to help the bile move. You want to get movement going through, though, so that those stones can start to disintegrate a little bit. Now, a lot of people like to use malic acid, and they say that malic acid can help melt those stones down a little bit. A lot of people will talk about drinking apple juice because it's high in malic acid. I just don't love that route because all the sugar that's in apple juice and that's gonna raise insulin level which can thicken up your bile and be a problem. Now we do often use a supplement uh, magnesium malate because that has a lot of malic acid in it but we need to understand how to use magnesium correctly a little bit because if someone is leaning too far on that catabolic side then taking too much magnesium could push them even further into that catabolic side which could result in the bile becoming too thick. So you really want to know what you're doing with your unique bioindividuality. Now, once you can get bile moving a little bit and help that uh, get rid of that sludge that may have been building up, well, now here's a problem that you want to keep in mind. If you have stones in your gallbladder and, and your gallbladder is all sludged up with this really thick bile and there's some stones in there, you may not have any kind of pain or any kind of discomfort because the stones are stuck in one place. But once you start to thin the bile so that it can flow correctly, which you really want to do this, you really have no choice or it's going to lead to a lot of health issues. Once you get it moving, then those stones can move, which means that one of those stones could get stuck in a bile duct and that's what creates a gallbladder attack. It's that stone blocking the duct completely so when the gallbladder is squeezing and trying to get things to move, it can't move and it can create a lot of pain. So when you get that moving, a stone can move around. Just don't view it like, oh man, thinning my bile gave me a gallbladder attack. You made me have gallstones. That's not what happened. You had gallstones for a long time before. They just weren't moving because the bile wasn't flowing at all.